We're hunting big old long beards in central Kentucky and Wired Outdoors starts right, right now. now. Hello and welcome to Wired Outdoors. It is those two magical words we live for all year long, opening day. And we're going to be heading to a familiar spot in Kentucky to hunt with our good friends from the Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife Resources on the opening day of the Kentucky turkey season. And if you've followed us in the past, you have seen we have had some awesome hunts in Kentucky, including last year where we shot four birds in two mornings. And the thing I love about Kentucky and what these guys do they do one heck of a job managing their game, but they also make it really convenient for hunters. We were able to hop online, get our tags the night before, and then when you get your bird, you can actually just check it in the field. So really excited to get on the hunt. This is a two-part series. In this first hunt, we're gonna be joining myself, field staffer John Collins, his cousin Bo. We're chasing Kentucky Longbeards. Let's get right to the action. Okay, it's about nine o'clock in the morning. We've had a great morning so far. I don't think I've ever been there. We were within 25 yards of that uh, last yeah, bird. Yeah, we've had a lot of action. Oh my God, and we never did see him. He was just over the ridge, but he was hammering, but it didn't work out. But we were, you know, walking along. We saw we got at least two strutters out here. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna try and, what, sneak up this ridge? We're gonna come right up this side here. Okay, we're gonna try and set up a couple decoys. We got both the guns, we got two strutters. Maybe we'll get lucky. Both of them come in, we'll get a double, so. All right, let's go. I got both of them. I'll get it right. Good shot. <laughs> Good shot, buddy. <laughs> right. <laughs> nice. He was putting. Yeah. He saw something he didn't like. Would well, have been a long morning, ain't it? <laughs> Good shot. That's about 50, wasn't it? Yeah, pretty good little poke. Yeah, that's awesome. We almost had a double there, but they were a little too far. It was the one, the one on the right was he was even farther. Yeah, yeah. that was about 50, and I was like, John, shoot him. He dropped him, man. That was awesome. <laughs> As you can see, we got John Collins' birds. Great shot, man. Thanks, man. You know, and you saw the deal was, I was gonna shoot anything on the right, he was gonna shoot anything on the left, and it just so happened the one on the right was about 60 yards. That was farther than I wanted to shoot, but John made a great shot on this guy, great bird. You hear I'm whispering? Because we got another bird goblin right behind us, so we're gonna go, we're gonna, he's going after, he's really going at it, so we're gonna go after him. But awesome hunt so far here in Kentucky. We saw good news from Kyle and AJ as well, that they shot a great bird. Don't so bird. here we are, first day at opener in Kentucky, having a great time. So what do you get? Let's go see if we can get this bird. 
Great shot, John. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. You heard us talking. I was going to take the bird on the right. John had the one on the left, and that bird started putting. That hunt was over. And the one on the right was a little bit, he was about 55, 60 yards, and the one John shot was just right about his limit at 50 yards, and he made a great shot. But we're not done yet. We're going to be joining AJ and Kyle on this next hunt. AJ's behind the camera. Kyle's up with the bow. Let's see if he can get it done on one of these great Kentucky Longbeards. Good morning. Today is the opening day of spring gobbler season here in Kentucky, and we're pretty excited about it. Just got into town yesterday, and we've got gorgeous weather. It's supposed to be close to 80 degrees today, sunshine, and They've had a lot of cold rainy weather up until this point so expecting those birds are really going to be cranking this morning and we set up the blind last night we've seen a nice big bird coming out to a field and we're going to get in there actually going to be doing some archery hunting this morning so uh, hopefully we get into them and have some luck This out, Age. Nice bird. Oh, he's a dandy. Look at the beard. Double bearded. Beards. Look at that. Nice bird. Boy, that rage, it tore a tremendous hole in there. I don't know if you can see that, but there's no question. He only went 20 yards after that. He was down. So I'm pumped. We're on the board in Kentucky, opening day. It's Long great. Got to thank John and Brian for helping us with all the scouting and giving us a hand here. Those guys did a great job. They put us in a perfect spot this morning and boy, it worked out just to perfection. 
All right, let's get one for AJ. Congrats, Kyle. What a bird with your bow, a double bearded giant. To see him come running into the decoy like that was so cool. And we want to take a minute to thank field staffer John Collins and his family for opening up their home to us. John and Brian Blank for all the scouting. They really had these birds pinned down. And then lastly, the Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife Resources. And we want to tell everybody, if you're looking for a world-class elk hunt, you have until the end of April to put in for your Kentucky elk tag. I know my fingers are crossed hoping I pull that tag this year, but it's relatively inexpensive and it's easy to do. Visit the website address on the bottom of the screen. And we want to remind everybody, this is only part one of two of our turkey series in Kentucky. Next hunt's gonna be AJ on the bow and I'm gonna be on the gun and they are awesome hunts. So once again, we'll see you in that next video and we want to thank you all for joining us on Wired Outdoors.